Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Krishana aka Hiropatra and I'm back with another video but this video is a talk through video, it's a girl talk video, we gonna be talking about some things, you know what we gonna be talking about? We're gonna be talking about colorism in the, the black community so I'm super excited about this video because you know I just feel like just getting this off my chest you know and if you want to get this off your chest as well definitely comment down below subscribe to the channel make sure you like this video and if you like this look I definitely practiced it a couple times three four times before I'm filming it just so I could perfect it for you guys and I'm super happy with the outcome if you're super happy with this outcome and how this looks and you want to learn keep on Okay, first things first, I'm going to cover my baby hairs because, you know, my hair is stupidly. So I've been practicing this eyeshadow look for about three days, okay? I've had a lot of time to practice, especially since I've not been wanting to do anything. As you guys can, as you guys already know, so much has been happening in the world. We are dealing with two pandemics, COVID-19 and racism. <laughs> so I'm just going to open this right now. It's always so hard to open. But you know what? I feel like we're also dealing with three pandemics if being real and the last one being colorism. <laughs> this is a topic that gets everyone, especially the black community, in a bunch. And I honestly do not know why because we're so quick to understand and know that racism is wrong but like people are trying to act really dense when it comes to colorism and the effect it has on black people dark-skinned people specifically dark-skinned women but we can get into that <laughs> let me just get this eye patch on what's been going on in the world is crazy but you know what it's time it's time for black people to acclaim their time like it's time so as um sad as i was for weeks actually about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and even on um, what's happening in London with um I think it's Belly oh my god I'm really bad with names I think it's Belly I think it's Belly I'm gonna link it somewhere here in this video and um all those things have taken a toll on my mental you know just trying to um, sign as much petitions donate as much as I can just you know just because I feel so helpless anyways I'm gonna go into this palette this is the warrior 2 palette by Juvia's place this is owned by a black woman I love this palette if you know me you know I'm a matte girl so this is a like full matte collection the pigmentation on this palette is absolutely amazing I've literally loved the Julia's place for so long so I was so happy when they decided to give me some eyeshadow palettes and guess what I was so excited that I decided to give a giveaway so I'm gonna be having a giveaway so if you're watching this video right now that means that you you hear you you was getting you was gonna get the giveaway details so just go on to my Instagram right now and um enter like go and enter this giveaway i'm gonna be using chestnut concealer i love this it's not black owned i actually did not look it up i should look it up but yeah i'm gonna be trying to use as much though but this is not black owned i don't think so i'm gonna use that to cover all over my eye and i'm just going to use my fingers to blend it out I like using my fingers. I've been using my fingers a lot lately with my makeup. You know, I just feel like my, I have a lot of control with my fingers. So what has been happening in the States happens around the world a lot to black people across the world. But what's the difference between this time and George Floyd's death and seeing it and knowing about Breonna Taylor's death and knowing that there's still zero arrests that have been made for her death, just all these things, Ahmed dying because he was jogging, all these things has led to an uh, uproar around the world and our voices are being heard. I feel like for the first time, 
people are actually listening you know why because everything's canceled right like there's no um stores open restaurants are closed can't go to work you know what i'm saying there's no sports on tv you literally have to sit home and take it in that's what mans have to do right now people are taking it in and people are not happy about it look at what we're doing we're fighting just to get justice like why are, why are people upset that we are fighting racism that that is number one secondly if you're an all lives matter type of person just let me just tell you right now come off my things black lives matter that doesn't mean all lives don't matter that just means black lives matter too because for some reason Mans just don't get it. Anyways, I'm going to set my concealer on my eye with some setting powder. I am going to use my Laura Mercier powder. This is like the mini version. Local samps. And I'm just going to dab that on my eye just to set it for my eyeshadow. So yeah, if you're that person, this is not the YouTube for you. This video is not for you. This, I don't even think this channel is really for you because I don't like people that are dense and ignorant. So I'm just gonna get a crease brush and I'm just gonna go in with this beautiful like shade of brown I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like, it's like kind of like caramel looking. It's called Yodit. I'm just going to put that all over my eye as the base, the foundation, just to give it a clean uh, surface. I use a light hand when I'm just applying makeup. So I'm just going to just put that all over my lid. What I'm going to get into is colorism. You heard it right. Colorism. That is a huge problem in the black community. So now I'm gonna go in with a Jamata and I'm just going to create just like a rainbow around my eye with the same brush. I'm gonna use the same brush. This is a Morphe brush. And I'm just going to just make a rainbow shape around my eye like so. I'm an active user on t Twitter. So as of late, I've been seeing people getting Cancelled and I say that with quotation marks because you know Cancel culture is such a huge thing and it usually happens when someone Sees someone succeeding in life. That's what that's what it usually happens You see someone succeeding in life and you know they decide you know what let me just uh, Let me just humble man's real quick Let me just pull these receipts every time someone pulls up these receipts though guess 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 what's the common thing we see when someone pulls up old tweets from about look at look at this. I'm getting so mad I'm putting eyeshadow on my on my eyebrow. The common denominator in all these tweets that pe that people get cancelled from is them slandering dark skinned women. <laughs> I have to laugh because when dark skin women try to let it be known that this is the problems that we get we go through within our own community people like to dismiss it a lot and people like to really think that we either are making this shit up in our heads as dark skin women speaking from experiences that, that we had to go through as children growing up People like to dismiss it, but every time someone's getting canceled, we're seeing a dig at dark skinned people and it's like, for what? It's a problem for me because I constantly talk about the bashing of dark skinned women, the treatment, the mistreatment of dark skinned women at the hands of black people. I understand there's a fight that's happening right now and it involves us and racists i am in that fight a hundred percent if you know me you know but at the same time i'm always going to address 
the colorism that is within the black community because I always bring that up because I don't want the next generation of dark skinned women and dark skinned little girls to go through the mistreatment that I had to go through and so many other dark skinned women have had to go through growing up and that is it and that is the reason like I'm gonna go into Kufuru this is a deeper chocolate brown I'm loving it I'm actually gonna go in with the same brush and I'm just gonna go over my Jamata that nice red orange I'm just gonna go over it and just deepen this crease so yes, I understand that their people grow up. I am not the same person I was literally even an hour ago. Let's be honest. We are constantly changing. We're we are constantly learning and we are super blessed to have social media. So we are able to learn ourselves like we're able to say I want to learn about this and go and actually learn about it research it you know what I'm saying we're we are fortunate this generation is very fortunate to be as intelligent as we are because of all the resources that we have access to and with that being said unfortunately some people are being exposed for being vile children to uh, people in their community, dark skin women in their community. In the fight that we are in right now with the world against the police brutality and racism, black women, dark skin women are at the forefront. They are always at the forefront. We are always here to uplift and stand beside our black men in all shades, in all sizes. So who's going to be here for us? Who's going to be here for us? So I am deepening. With this thinner brush from Morphe as well, I am going to go into what Walzena. Oh my god, am I even saying these words right? And it's like more of a grayish or brown undertone like it ha it's more charcoal it's like a charcoal color and i'm just going to use this more of a dense brush just to add a more depth into this crease that i am creating i'm literally com creating a completely different crease and shape from my eye so i'm just going to kind of put that in the center just like this i'm just going to follow the other shades so yes, a lot of people have been exposed for their colorist tweets and other things like rape, which is really crazy. Like, I don't understand how anyone could have that phase, but whatever. But it's just, it's just a trend now. Like, I'm not a trend, but it's just, it was just really disheartening. Every time someone gets exposed, it's just always about black, dark-skinned women. It is so annoying because it's like... Here it is, we told you. I was using this smudge brush to um, define my eyebrows. I'm going to use it to cut this crease. So this crease I'm creating is a kind of like a cool cut crease I've seen um, some people do. And I just love how it opens up your eyes. So I'm just getting um, Fawn from my LA Pro Girl. And I'm using a flat smudge brush. And I'm just going to create like a moon, but I do not bring the moon down. I give it like a wing. Bring the concealer all the way down so it covers the lid. And then I'm going to pat it with my fingers to just to make sure it's smooth and evenly dispersed. So everyone went through the phase 2011, 2010, 
honestly, up until like recently to me, people have been on this hate dark skin woman train and it's super annoying to have to constantly every week hear a new apology be um, made saying that they're sorry this is not how they feel now but like it's like why did you feel that way before and like how am I supposed to know you don't feel that way now because what was really the reason why you felt that way before like what give me a good reason give give me a good reason like give me a good reason I, I'll wait write it in the comments give me a good reason why you feel like um, you have like give me an actual valid reason why you had all this animosity and hate toward dark skin women. I've seen a lot of women um, do it. I've seen a lot of black men do it. Why? What? What was the reason? Why did you guys hate us so much? There's no reason. <laughs> it's because of our skin color that sounds very familiar like a racist like a racist <laughs> it's like racism within the our black community but obviously not but kind of so we're not getting killed for being dark skin we're just getting fucking ridiculed and our lives being made hell in school in our homes I'm just trying to be very careful with this. I'm not trying to have the conversation and take me off track. Again, who am I to tell you that you have not changed? That um, you really did take time to educate yourself, like I'm saying, to know that this is not right. This is self-hate, more or less. But do we, as dark-skinned women, have to take that apology in that moment that you're giving it? Absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely not. Just take your time with this part. See, like, take the time to create it. I don't want to make, like, a dip. I just want it to be, like, like a nice hill. Like a hill. Like a hill. I think this is going to help elongate my eye and not like make it like round. I'm still trying to keep my bedroom eyes. Oh, do I even like this? Anyways, I'm not mad. But I, I, I just want better for us moving forward. I do not want the little black girls, dark skinned girls, to grow up and see you, you guys as a vile tweets about us. Like, I, I don't want them to see that. So yeah, we're gonna nip it in the bud. I am very happy about how powerful our voices are. All of our voices are powerful, and that's why you use your platform to speak up when you know something's wrong, in person and on the internet. Like people trying, people trying to, like people don't understand. Like those tweets happen on the internet, but once that computer shut off, they went to school, displacing their anger, their self hate on us making our lives hell <laughs> so yeah I'm going to be vocal about it I'm going to say something about it because it's not right like women should not be getting bullied online and in person based off the color of their skin and how dark they are does that make sense do you comprehend anyways I'm just very proud of how far black people as a whole has come together to rally up and get justice for the people that have been wronged by police who are supposed to be there to serve and protect us. Like, I am deathly afraid of police now, like honestly. 
I am now gonna go into this color, Kana. Kana. I love this color. Like a sandy, like a sandy color. I don't know how to describe it, but I love it. I love this color. And I am gonna get a flat brush. I'm gonna get a flat brush and I'm just going to put that all over the concealed part of my eye. And at first you're probably gonna be like, oh, this is kind of intense, but it's gonna look nice in the end. And this pigment is just so much, you don't even need to dip it so much, like literally, look at that. Love it. I actually love this color. But anyways, I am so happy that we can come together and just make our voices be heard. I am specifically super happy about what Jackie Anna did for black influencers everywhere, you know, demanding um demanding companies. It wasn't Jackie Anna, it was this woman named Sharon, I think. And she started an initiative that Jackie Anna also pushed as well to get companies and brands to let us know the percentage of black influencers, black people, and I don't think it was influencers, but black people working in that company, working with that brand, um, who was up in the higher levels, who the employees, like how many of those, how many of that, how many people are are working with you that are black that are african american let us know let us know i loved that because you know what it was making these brands put their money where their mouth is like you say you're with us you say you're with us are you with, really with us let's see let's see and if you do not have like if you have like one percent um black people working for your company what are you gonna do to change like honestly you put that black so i'm gonna go back in with that dense brush and go into that grayish dark color and i'm just going to go and define the uh, line so now i'm gonna take this off <sighs> finally rub that into my eye And I'm gonna spray this. This is from Ming Lee Snob Life. This is Fuckboy Repellent. It's rose water facial spray infused with sage. You know, just some good energy spray for my skin. You know, fuckboy free. That's how we keep it. Just, you know, just to give some energy to my skin. Again, I don't know if this is black owned, but I'm gonna be using the LA Pro Girl. That's what I'm going to use to color correct all over any of any area that I find needs it. So I'm going to do it underneath my eye, around my nose and mouth. Make sure to get the sides. Okay, so I already put my LA Pro Girl off camera. I used my fingertips to tap it in. Now I'm going to be using this foundation from Julia's Place. So you know we still trying to keep it keep it black owned. I'm going to be using the shade So Koto. I'm going to be using the shade So Koto. I find that this shade really matches my skin. Hopefully. I really do think so though. And I'm just going to put a few strokes all over my face. You know, I just want for us to be able to tackle all the issues that is going on while we have the time. Because we have people listening right now. Like, people are listening. People are tuned in right now. So, just taking the time to reflect... Um, during this pandemic, being able to really take in yourself and finding yourself, like this is the time. It's such a scary time. 
And I know that's for certain. Like, it's such a super scary time to be in right now, but we're in it and we just need to utilize that that um, time properly and try to benefit ourselves and lift ourselves to take us to unimaginable places like honestly i'm going to be using a beauty blender i'm just going to use the flat side of this beauty blender i also washed it so that's why it's super damp and not super damp but it's just super easy to maneuver this is a real techniques brush and i'm just going to just blend it in Just like that. I'm super glad that people that have been exposed for their past colorist tweets to care towards dark skin women can acknowledge that I was wrong and apologize for it. But again, do dark skin women have to take in that apology in that moment that you are sending it? No. If they feel like you are, have genuinely changed and what you're saying is genuinely facts, then yes, because who are we? We are not, we are not God. We cannot just judge people like that and not give them a space to grow and learn from their mistakes. We are all human. At the end of the day, we are all human. We are going to make mistakes. We just want to know that are you being genuine with this are you just saying that just to say that because you know you got caught because more times people are just getting caught and having to like save themselves but it's like if you know that you're going you want to embark on this journey of being an influencer being in the public eye and you've been doing this um, social media stuff for a while like take the time to just go back and reflect on all the things that you've done in the past because you don't want it to come back and bite you in the ass and now you're in the notepad section in your phone writing an apology or on Twitter writing an apology praying that this does not end your your career like we can do better than that but again, it is not for you to dictate the time that it takes for someone to accept your apology. You know, you good, you good, you done enough. You know, we see, like, for you to even do that is crazy to me. Like, also holding your friends accountable. Like, hold your friend accountable for the things that they do and they say that is wrong and hurtful towards other people look at this just i love a good like foundation that just this do you know what this feels like it feels like there's nothing on my face it feels very skin like i'm liking it you know it's a vibe with this matte eye look i think it's gonna be really cute I'm gonna put a lot of powders on my face anyway, so it's gonna get really matte anyways. So now I am going to highlight and contour, you know, start, I'm gonna start to shape my face. And I am going to be using a V color Congo, still black owned. I usually use Fancy Beauty, who is also um, black owned, but I'm gonna be using Congo today. I'm going to use, now I'm going to use chestnut and I'm just gonna put that all over my highlighted areas. As I put my concealer on, I'm just going to lift my face and also clean up my eyeshadow, like so. I'm just gonna lift it up like that. And that's going to help direct how I want and where I want my cheekbones to go. So I'm using Chet and Snide. If you guys know, you know this is my concealer.
Now I'm gonna go in with my LA Pro Girl in Fawn, which is more of like a golden light color. I know a lot of dark skin girls like to use Fawn and just Fawn alone, but I would highly suggest you adding a different color just to help blend it and match your skin way more. I think that chestnut and fawn together is like a perfect combination for my my skin tone and I feel like a lot of people's skin tone. Like chestnut is one of my favorite concealers ever. If you know, you know. Girl, I don't wanna to put too much. I don't want it to be like only that color. I just want it to have a mixture of that color. So um, I am going to go and blend out my contour and I'm going to be using my two-sided brush to be doing this. It's from Sephora. It's like a dense brush. I really love using this to um, blend out my, con my contour. This contour is a bit darker than what I use with my Fenty but because it's like the foundation color so I'm using the foundation color like you'd be scared that it might end up looking muddy, but I just think that it just blends out so nicely with the foundation um, Sokoto. Now I'm going to use the same beauty blender that I use to blend out my foundation. I want us to all be able to live with just peace, happiness, and, you know, unity. Like, that's what I want. That is, like, the perfect world, of course. I think it's achievable, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially within the black community, I definitely feel like we are our biggest allies. So, like, why not stick together? Why not? Just like we are making sure that racists know that they are racist, that it is wrong to be um, judgmental and discriminatory towards black people. We have to be able to look at ourselves in the mirror and be like, you know what, this part of our community is wrong. Like, sh um, shitting on dark-skinned women is, is wrong. It was never right. And a lot of people's excuses was, oh, they're trying to fit in. But is that really the only excuse? I, to me, that's cap. I feel like they honestly felt that way. They really felt like, oh, um, dark skinned woman cannot wear red lipstick. Like, I don't know where you guys got that from. I really don't know where. For some reason, I keep seeing people say that dark skinned women don't look good in red lipstick. We look good in red lipstick. I won't lie, black, as black, as a black woman, I had to learn to make things work for me. Like I had to learn that lip liner and lipstick are like sisters, like they go together. They need to be with each other. I can't just put lipstick on my lips. And that's for anyone in any shade, like it looks very crackheadish, like nothing to do with color. It just looks like not neat. So just learning that. So like me always seeing that, like I always thought that black woman, dark skin woman looked great in red lipstick so I was so so confused when people said that like we look maybe that frosty pink like you know what I'm, that pink I'm talking about that Nicki Minaj pink that Mac Nicki Minaj pink that was not looking good on like it did not look good on me okay it didn't look good on anyone that I thought that I seen it with period and because no one I've never seen anyone wear um I've never seen anyone wear it with a lip liner like that would have helped so much so just little things like that little tips like that we grew up and learned so like 
I don't know where people got this notion that red lipstick does not look good on dark skinned women, but we look amazing in red lipstick, so I don't know where that came from. It was really annoying to always see people saying stuff like that, like us wearing colored wigs, like we look good in everything, like don't ever, like do you know how much guts it takes to just be comfortable to wear a bright wig, a bright um color on your head? Do you know how much confidence it takes to do that? Black women have been doing that since the end of time, bro. Like, okay, so I'm back. I put on my um, setting powder. I used Laura Mercier's in medium deep and the regular um, setting powder in white or whatever shade it is, it's white. Um, I also put my eyeliner. The reason why I did it off camera is because they weren't black owned. So I was like, you know what? I'm trying to keep it all black owned, even if I don't keep it all black owned, you know? I look, so I'm just gonna get that started. But I just wanted to just give you a little um, background as to why I even take this, take this topic so seriously because when I was growing up, it was super hard for me. I was made fun of a lot, specifically for being dark skinned, specifically for being African. People really tried their hardest to make me feel bad for the, for being black, like literally for being dark skinned, made me, wanting me to feel ugly for the skin that I'm in. So yeah. <laughs> If you are a dark skinned female and you've been, um, if you felt like you've been bullied or made to feel like your dark skin wasn't beautiful, please comment down below and let me know. Share your experience if you want. If you're open to it, share your experience down below. I would love to read it. I would love to chat with you. I am gonna go in with go into my palette while the setting powder is still on my face I am going to go into this nice black shawata I think that's what it's called I'm gonna get this dense brush just a little tiny dense brush just so I can properly put this black underneath my eye just like that I was called all sorts of names. I can tell you guys some names. I was called Nightcrawler. I was called Darkness. I, for one, did not know that Dave Chappelle said it in like a skit. I didn't know that. Definitely found out after that and every day after that. <laughs> That's what uh, people would call me when They'd see me coming down the hallway at school. It was very detrimental to my mental just constantly being berated for the color of my skin. It was really crazy to me. Sometimes when I look back, I think, wow, how did I survive that? I'm such a trooper. And that, and I just want to be able to be that person for other dark skinned girls that have gone through similar situations as me to feel like you they can make it you know that your skin is beautiful that they are completely and utterly wrong and you are going to make it in life literally because god loves you like you will make it So I'm going to get into my Fenty Beauty Contour in Mocha Mami. So this is what I use to contour, powder contour. I just really like the shade. It definitely has a like a red undertone. So if you don't have any red, if you don't have any red undertone, I would not suggest get this um, bronzer or contour. I don't know which from this collection this is from, but this is what I use for my um, just to set my cream contour and I'm just gonna go over all the cream contour parts so yes I just wanted to just give you guys just a background why I take this situation so seriously and why it's really annoying to 
see all these apologies from people that have come on Twitter to add to so many dark skinned women's demise. <laughs> like, honestly. But it's okay, you know. I am God's child. I am I am forgiving in a sense. It definitely does take me some time. I won't lie. I won't front. Now I'm going to go in with a just a dense brush. This is what I use from Real Techniques to contour my nose. And I'm just going to connect it from the um, crease eyeshadow all the way down just like that it's actually kind of comical to me just to see how the tables have turned because during those times when people would be getting at me or people would be doing the most to dark skin people i really did not foresee it ever stopping i really thought that um dark skin women were going to be the butt of jokes for a long time and it that just that realization at a young age made me want to do things that I am so glad that I've I've not done and what I'm talking about is bleaching my skin or even killing myself honestly because getting all that negativity and growing up with traumatic experiences and traumatic childhood could really take a toll on you and can drive you to do things that you know what you don't need to do like you do not need to bleach your skin your skin is beautiful the way God made it and I want to be the person to let you guys know that like in all seriousness I'm just gonna brush off the setting powder underneath my eye like so and then I'm going to attach my lashes my Tahil lashes from Afuru I am going to be using Afuru 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 she actually has a clothing company her name's Tahila she's the owner of Afuru of am I even saying this right she is the owner of Afuru and she just came out with a lash line, so I'm going to be using the style Tahila in honor of Tahila because that's her name and she owns this company. I absolutely love this lash, like look at the packaging, it's Kente inspired so obviously I'm going to be obsessed with it and I really like the style. I feel like it's gonna look really good with this eye look. These are how the lashes look. The reason why I love these lashes so much is because, first of all, they're from my good sis Tahila, and secondly, I just love how fluttery these lashes are, and especially in the style. This is a really um, fluttery lash, but it's low, so you can still see like the work that you did with your um, eyeshadow, and that's what I like about this. Like you can still see the work I did, that beautiful eye. Like I've been practicing this eye, I absolutely love it. And um, these lashes, I feel like complimented. I've tried like literally like three to four different lashes with this look, and this is the best option for this look. So yes. Uh, and it's black owned. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go back into this palette. See, this is amazing that I can go into this palette and like just do so much with it. I'm going to go into my blush brush. This is what I used for blush. It's like a small, soft brush. I've literally had this brush for years. And I'm going to go into Zama, that orange that we used at first. Just dip it in a little bit. I'm going to smile to get the apples of my cheeks. And I'm just going to dab it like so. Kind of follow my contour. Like that.
I'm gonna add just a little bit to my nose. Now I'm gonna go into highlight a black woman, my good sis Winnie Harlow's highlighter that she did with Kim Kardashian. Kim ain't black, but Winnie is, so this is my way of kind of cheating. So I'm gonna use this color. I absolutely love this rose gold from this um, highlight. I could give it's just giving me I'm just giving I'm just loving this highlight. It's my favorite part. Use any dark chocolate looking lip liner. I get this one from the hair store. If you guys know me, you guys know I love chestnut. But for some reason, for this specific lip gloss that I'm gonna show you that I use, which is also from Juvia's Place, I really like this lip liner with it. That's like how it looks together. Now I'm going to go into my Julius Place. I love this color. This is in Royalty, I think. The sticker came off. And I'm just gonna dab it. Slice it just like that. You don't need too much. It literally like comes, it's very pigmented. That's why I love it because you don't even need to use much. I'm gonna use my hands or a brush. Whatever is clever. And just disperse it all over my lips. It's also thick, but it's not like sticky. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I also hope you guys enjoyed this discussion that I had on my little take on what's been happening this month, um, not even this month, last month and this month, and also colorism within the black community and how dark-skinned women have been treated for so long. And I am so happy that it's actually all coming to light. People now really have to face what's in the mirror and see that, yes, I probably am part of the oppression against dark skinned women. I played a part in colorism within the black community. Like, it's time to just honestly face yourself, face the facts, because literally it feels like every week there's someone new coming out. Um, we're seeing old tweets from people, so many people, so many people with platforms that so many dark skinned women, black women contribute to. And to see that you did not value us or you felt this way about us, treating us like shit, comparing us to shit. I've seen some vile stuff from so many people in regards to dark skinned women. It's crazy and it's hilarious to see the um, apologies. It is, it is hilarious to see the apologies because it's like, you want us to take it? Okay, we will take it if we see change behavior. And if even if we do see change behavior, if we don't feel like we need to take it because of what we had to go through growing up, then that's just what it is. Like, you're gonna have to hold that down. But I am very happy for, for the uprising of black people in general, black women, dark skinned women. I am happy for us. I am happy that people are finally noticing and taking us in and our voices will be heard definitely this time around. 2020, everyone thought was the year that was gonna change their life and felt and people, so many people felt like the pandemic and what's going on in the world right now it has swayed their plans of 2020 but maybe just maybe this is what's needed for your next level up because we will be leveling up after this by god's grace take god seriously um 
understand that like dark skinned girls, dark skinned women, I am speaking to you specifically. I want you to know that your black skin, no matter how dark and chocolate it is, it is beautiful. It is worthy. You are worthy. You are valued. I love you so much. I love you guys so much. And I want you to know that you always have me as a person that will always be your voice. If you feel like you don't have the voice, I will be that voice for you. I love you. I see you. And you're going to make it. You're going to get through it. We are going to get through it and you're going to get to a point where you can confidently be like, yeah, I love the skin I'm in. Fuck everyone else. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you take something from it. I really hope that you don't feel like I'm badgering anyone or, you know, like I'm attacking anyone. I love my light skin sisters. If it wasn't for my light skin friend who, who... If it wasn't for my light skin friend who made sure she was aware of the light skin privilege that was going on and didn't and if it wasn't for her sticking up for me and always making me feel beautiful my light skin sister my light skin best friend if it wasn't for her i wouldn't be the person i am today so i definitely don't want this video to feel like a jab at light skin people because that is not the case at all. I just want to bring um, awareness to what we as dark skinned women go through. We as dark skinned girls go through growing up and how so many people have added to the bullying of dark skinned women. Like so many people in our own community have um, added to it. And not an acknowledging that there is light skin privilege is so, it's, it makes no sense for me it's like white people not acknowledging that there's white privilege like don't do that don't be that person acknowledging it is definitely the first step in the right direction so that you can help build our community up so that's all i had to say about that um i love us so much i love you so much i love light skins Light, light skins, brown skins, dark skins, I love us all. I have a special place in my heart for dark skinned women, dark skinned girls, dark skinned men as well. I do have a special place in my heart for us because, you know, I understand us, I feel us, I know what we go through on a day to day basis. So I just want to be able to be just transparent with you guys and. I just want you guys to know I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful that you watched this video. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Please stay safe. Wash your hands. We're gonna get through this. I feel it in my bones. COVID, that that pandemic shit is gonna it's gonna it's gonna be gone. Like I feel it in my bones that quarantine's gonna be lifted and we're gonna be able to just see each other again and just be outside because we need it honestly like honestly i miss i miss just being able to do the things that i was doing before so yeah i just want you guys to stay safe i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video